What is up guys, Zach Scott here playing Plants vs. Zombies 2 and there's a brand new plant out. It's available in the shop right now. I think next week they're going to have a way to unlock it without just purchasing it. But it's available for purchase in a bundle in the shop right now. It is the brand new Snap Pea. It looks like a mix between a Chomper and a Pea and I'm really excited to see what this is going to be like. Uh, this is part of the Enforcement family. And I don't think we have an enforcement yet, so maybe we'll get it soon. But I'm going to click to unlock it because I have enough seed packets to do so. Thanks to buying it in the store. And so there we go. You unlock Snap P. Plants unlocked with seed packets are not shared between all profiles. Good to know. So there he is right now. And uh, let's see all about him. So, uh, so he costs 200. The recharge is 10. Tough is 300. Damage 30. Special 40. He has a choose speed. We're going to see exactly how he works because uh, I don't really know I didn't do a lot of research before starting this off I tend to like to go in and surprise myself so snap peas dive underground burrow towards the zombies then pop up under underneath to swallow them in one gulp snap peas then return to their starting spot chew on the entire matter for a while and finally spit the zombies heads out at attackers <laughs> this game is getting more gruesome now I'm a picky eater I'll admit it amid snap pea casually I'll eat a zombie no problem but there's just something about heads. I feel like they're looking at me. <laughs> so he doesn't eat the heads. Okay, that's really cool to note. Um, I don't know what a P has to do with it. Um, maybe they just wanted to make a kind of a chomper-like plant and they decided on the snap P. Um, I don't know. I, I do have a lot of uh, plants to upgrade. Holy cow. I don't even know if I have enough funds to upgrade them all. Um, three, Peter. Whoa. Gosh, that was loud on my headphones. Okay, I have my headphones up too loud. <laughs> and then uh, Blover is in its Mastery 6, so sure, go ahead with that. Um, the Citron, Mastery, a little bit more. Not not much. We care about the milestones, though. Uh, like this one, 20. So now, uh, well, no. The Hurricane doesn't have a special thing. Um, Mastery 5 for the Toadstool. Awesome. And then, oh, yeah, Blueberry... 63 <laughs> this just ups its damage uh, we'll see what battles is like this week too uh, grape shot there we go but we're mostly what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on uh, the snap peak and try to showcase him across different eras and see where he's strong where he might be weak and just to see overall what's going on with this so well that's level 9 for the Kiwi Beast man I have a lot hold on mastery I'm really going through with this aren't I and there we go. That looks fantastic. Um, so what we're going to do right now is... Let's see. We're going to go ahead... Well, we have a pinata party. This will be the third in a row for the pinata party. So let's see about that. Uh, let's just... Well, no. Let's let's do that. At, <laughs> let's get into the content here. Let's go see what we're going to do. Um, let's just bring the snap P into... Uh, let's see. Let's bring the snap P into ancient... Ancient Egypt. Yeah, we start here. This is fine. And we'll see what needs to happen over here. I tend to take it on to... There are certain levels that I tend to take these on to. Nothing too crazy. We want to bring it maybe to, like, level... I think 23 is the one I typically try to showcase. And uh, we will see how that works out. This may have not been it. <laughs> but... <laughs> but let's give it a shot. Let's see what we got going on. Um... Maybe it was 22. But the mo the important thing is we're going to showcase the snappy here. Level 1. Eats zombies and spits out their heads. Seems pretty cool. I'm pretty much just going to put down sunflowers and all that stuff. I want to, of course, see what kind of special ability they have. We're going to see what kind of recharge time they might have. Maybe slow them down with some ice. Yeah, no. The drill. And sure, there we go. So let's rock with this. I don't think there are any restrictions on me. We're just going to play. And, of course, here we go. Let's start this off. And so, uh, let's see what happens when one of these guys comes out. I'm just waiting. I should have brought in the Grave Buster. I don't know what I was thinking. Alright, so there's one there. So, does it really go under? It does. Oh, wow. Just like that. I don't know why it's a P, though. That's a bit confusing. That's okay. Let's put one here. And it's pretty quick. It's like a chomper. The P is so it can spit out the head, I guess. That would make some sense. So it's kind of like the chomper. The recharge rate's pretty decent, honestly. 
I'm just waiting for him to spit out the head. Boom! Man, the head didn't even destroy a whole grave. Here, I'm gonna go ahead and boom, try to get some stuff out of here. Here we go. Oh, so he's making even more graves. Let's get some plant food here, because I want to see what happens. All right, looking good. Looking good, he's making more graves though, stop it. Boom! I don't know how much damage these zombie heads actually do. But this is pretty cool, and I'm assuming he's, let's let's make sure he doesn't get burned here. That'd be terrible if he got burned by trying to get. No, he doesn't. Good, 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 good. Now, what about the sarcophagus zombie? Does it take him in one hit? It takes him in one hit. Nice, 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 nice. Hold on. Now, what I want to do is I want to see what kind of. Uh, okay, here, let me go ahead and blow these guys up. Let's get him out of the way. I want to see what the plant food does. Whoa, whoa, it just took out a bunch of them. Now, and then it spits out one, two, three, four, five, six heads. It spits out all the heads. That is incredible. That is absolutely incredible. Uh, so let's do it. As soon as they come through, let's just go in and get them. Boom. There they like three, four of them. Hey, four, no, maybe three. And another one. Hold on. Let's let's do it again. Here we go. Just keep going and eating. Goodness gracious, this is pretty cool. Now I'm gonna have to see how this. This may not work against the imps. I I, I like to test them out against the imps. You know. Here, blow this guy up. On the uh, pirate stage, they may not work like that, but that's okay. It just may not be that type of plant. Here we go. So I can't use I can't use the plant food on another one when one is already experiencing the plant food effect. So that's an interesting thing to know. Let's see how they take out this big guy though. Here, let me use this. Let me see. He's gonna go down. Whoa! Whoa! He just popped up and shot him. What? What is that? I've never seen that before. What the heck? So I guess on, <coughs> I guess on things they can't eat, they just pop up and shoot them. Here, let me let me try this. Plant food. Well, he just popped up several times and shot him. I don't know what's gonna happen here. This is uh, I don't think he's gonna be. I don't think it's gonna be strong enough to take care of the gargantuars. So let me just blow him up. There we go. So that's something to know. Holy cow. All right. Well, that was pretty phenomenal. Uh, so there we go. Now, I'm pretty sure this isn't good. Well, we'll see. We'll, we'll test it out. There is a Pirate Seas level that I like to play with every new plant that comes out. And the point of testing it out is I'd like to see how the plants deal with a massive number of weak zombies such as the imps and I like to see how new plants can deal with like kind of farming type situations so what I like to do is I like to take them over to um, basically it's pirate seas day uh, is it 22 I think it's pirate seas day 22 and this helps me kind of understand how the plants can be used in mass uh, what their cost ratio is and so basically if we bring in the same crew here, let's just drop in a couple more because we need the space. I don't have huge expectations for this, uh, but I'll be able to test these out once they're level 10. And that'll be like a week from now or so. So this is already, yeah, so we're already having to kind of figure out how to split these up. Let's see how this works. This is probably not going to work. So what happens? How is it going to treat a cannon? Do they even do anything for the cannons? They may not. They don't do anything with the cannons. Okay. So what we do with the imp, they're just going to take them one by one. This is not going to work. This is going to be a failure. I can tell you that already because just just like chompers, a whole thing of chompers. I don't even think a whole thing of chompers would work. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. I just don't think this is going to work. But we'll see. Yeah, see, it spit ahead. 
and the cannon's still there, so this is just not gonna work. We'll see, we'll witness it. Uh, yeah. All these imps, we do have a few backups, but it just isn't, I don't think it's gonna happen the way that we would ideally want it to. But I'll keep it here just in case. I wanna see it play out to the very end. Yeah, see, the imp's gonna eat him now. We're starting to dig into it, so yeah, this isn't gonna last for very long. And the spitting heads, does it spit the heads right right past him? No. Anyway, we see the we see the problem, right? These imps are gonna start tearing into more and more of the snap peas until they finally get to the end, and they're gonna get to the end. They're gonna trigger the lawnmower. The next round, I don't have any defense right there, so we'll just leave it at that. We know that, here, save an exit. We know we're not gonna complete it like that. Kind of a waste of time, <laughs> but that's okay as well. Um, are there any quests right now that use snap peas? Just out of curiosity, is, it, is there any sort of, no. This week we have the premium uh, seed, oh, for the goo pea shooter, uh, kind of a, a, or another recent new type of one. So let's think about what else we could do with the snap. I'm trying to think about it, man. Uh, what, other, what other eras would be interesting to test? Well, let's just go into the Wild West. Uh, well, maybe something with a conveyor belt. We'll see how it reacts with a conveyor belt, maybe. Um, keep in mind, I'm basically trying to recreate... Here, let's just go into a normal one. I think 23 will be fine. I'm trying to... Don't lose more than one plant. Okay. Okay, fine. Oh, man, the chickens. Well, let's see how this works. So we're going to bring in the snap. Peas. We're going to bring in maybe don't lose more than one plant so we can't have anything explosive to deal with the chickens though I'm going to be using the lightning reed. I think that's going to be the best opportunity for me uh, Those should take care of the chickens just fine um, The snap peas we're going to put them in there of course we don't want anything we're, that we could easily lose So maybe uh, for the for the for the sun production we're talking about just bringing in the primal sunflowers um, again, nothing that we can easily lose. So, these are going to be my three primary plants. I'm just going to bring in... Jeez, I don't know. Uh, I'll bring that in just in case. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to bring in some stuff. We'll see how it goes. I don't want anything I can lose. Okay. So, start us off. I, of course, am a little concerned that right off the bat, uh, there will be chickens. So we're going to start with lightning reeds. At least one out on the field. The Maybe two. Two on the field. And this should probably take care of all the basic zombies as well. And then we'll start bringing in... Um, I'll probably put in a couple more sunflowers. And then when I hit 200, I'm going to put in uh, my first snap pea. So we should get some plant food out of this. I'm going to use the plant food uh, for the snap pea. So he's going under. He grabbed that. Oh, man. I could use another snap pea like right now because the lightning reeds may not be enough. So hold on. I'm going to put another snap pea right here. He's going to go in and eat this guy. Now we got to figure out where the heads are going to go. So if we put them down here, we might be able to take care. Let's put one up here. This is kind of trying to determine where the heads go. All right, so the snap pea kind of ignores the chickens. I like that. So let's go ahead and go down here. Now keep in mind the... Um, so we just split the heads that way. So he's popping down to shoot the piano, which is hilarious. I think the lightning reeds are doing the most damage here. But I kind of like how he just pops down. Here, let's use the plant food. We'll go eat a bunch of zombies. And then we're just going to start spitting heads. And we'll move him up here to shoot some heads at the piano. And then we'll do the same thing. We'll, we'll come up... Eat some things. Did he eat a piano? Did the piano go? I don't know what happened. All right, we're good. We're good. So now that a bunch of people are out, what is he? What is he shooting at? Here. 
I love how quickly they can clear a bunch of these. It's a pretty interesting plant. Definitely one of the more original plants that I've seen for a while. All right. So, um, let's see. Go and collect whatever from here. Some winter melon. Almost to level eight with the winter melon. That's pretty cool. And then, um, okay, continue on. I guess we got a side quest done through the travel log. So let's see here. Did we? I feel like the game just froze. <laughs> Maybe it did. Okay, I'll be RB. All right, I'm back. I just, uh, it was a quest to defeat Wild West zombies. <laughs> so I got him. All right, so what stage do you want to check out now? Uh, let's go take a look again in the adventure. We'll end the episode with the pinata party. Maybe we'll take a peek at what Battles offers this week as well. But I'm really focused on this snap pea. It seems like a really powerful plant that has a lot of opportunities here. Uh, so frostbite cake. I'm assuming that snap pea can be frozen. I guess we could test it. Review. No, go in. Just go in. <laughs> uh, let's see what happens here. So frostbite. Cake. So I, I go all the way when I test out plants here. I'm assuming they're gonna be frozen. Uh, but let me just test it because who knows? Level 26 I think is my go-to. This is gonna be interesting because a lot of plants get put, or a lot of the zombies get pushed into different rows. So let's see. I don't like all the weasels, honestly. Uh, this is not my preferred stage to test. That's okay. Oh, I gotta wonder, can they pick up the flying zombies? That's gotta be another test. Okay, but anyway, uh, let's bring in, I, I got pretty much everything I want, but I in, this time instead, I'm gonna want um, maybe some fire producing plants. And by that, I mean this. Hot potato to defrost. Um, yeah, if these, if these snap peas get frozen, I'm gonna wanna bring in the hot potato. Let's see. Hot potato, and then, um, I got a, I, I got a question. Does the peppermint do anything? Uh, like, can I just use that, and then everything will be thawed out? I don't even know. And then, uh, this is pretty much all I want. So let's rock, here we go. All right, so starting us off, what do we got? What do we got here? We're gonna start off with, uh, hmm. Well, we're gonna need some sun. So let's just start out putting out sun. Cause we're gonna need the sun. And then, um, I'm also gonna put out the lightning reeds soon. Those are free, so we can thaw out the mushrooms so that we can get more sun. And... So he's gonna get moved down to here. Oh, he's going right for the frozen ones. Yikes. That's a bit scary. Let me put this in the back then. No, he just ate them. He ate them. Oh man, he ate. Uh, he ate them. Uh, wow. He ate. He just ate those ice. So that's. I'm so. I'm so glad I actually played a level from this because I. I was thinking I just knew everything about this. Yeah, they can get. They can get frozen. All right. So he just straight up ate a zombie in an ice block, including all of. All of the uh, all of the ferrets or whatever. Does, does this does this does this thaw out anything? Whoa 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 whoa! Darn, it kind of thawed it out. Let me put this in the middle. There we go. So we do need to have these, or otherwise they're gonna freeze. All right, come on, here come the uh, the things. Yikes! Come on, thaw them out, thaw them out. Oh, I don't get to test. Oh man, I just okay. Hey, let's do this. Look, they're gonna pop up and eat a whole bunch. They eat like all of them. It's crazy. Hey, do you eat that one? He's on the ground, you're eating him now. Okay, there you go. Just had to see. Uh, get us, I'm, I'm running low on sun somehow. Here we go, put that down there, put that down there. Thaw him out, keep him, keep him toasty. And then we're gonna get a whole other one soon. Final wave coming through. Get ready. This is the final wave. Ooh. 
All right. All right, there we go, there we go. All right. We're gonna take a step back. Lost City, is there anything to note about Lost City that might interest me? Uh, we can see if they attack. Okay, here, let's just go. We find out new things each time, man. So let's just take it across all these eras and we're gonna see how this plant functions. And hopefully you guys are picking up some cool things that you see are useful, uh, such as the fact that those guys can just eat straight up frozen zombies. I'm curious uh, how this plays out for like a stage like this though, with a lot of flying guys. And so I'm gonna bring in basically the same setup. Uh, it didn't bring in the hot potato because you don't need a hot potato for a stage like this. But um, wh what's going on here? Okay, everything's fine. I'm gonna bring in what do I want to do here? I don't have the the enforcement yet. It's not out yet, so that's gonna be next, probably. Just a guess. Um, I'm gonna bring out the gold bloom. I might, you know, I'm gonna bring the blo uh, bring the blower just in case things get out of hand with the flying guys. It'll be interesting to see how they how they're they're handled though. Um, I think I want to, to imit imitate the, uh, it's weird to see, no, okay, sorry, I don't know what I'm saying, I'm, <laughs> I'm all over the place. I'm gonna bring out the imitator on the snap pee. I just gotta see how it works, you know, with multiple, with as many as I can get out here, and of course the power, lead. this looks fine, this looks fine, everything's fine, I'm happy. All right. The Blover will help trigger some of these things. It's free. I can basically just plop it down here and activate the tiles. Oh man, we're getting low on... Okay, that's okay. Get ready. No, nope, not yet. Don't have it yet. Hold on. Basically, so they're gonna be great. So here's the great thing. We, you got the umbrella. She's not protecting her undercarriage, though. Boom! I don't know if undercarriage is the best word there, but she wasn't. <laughs> so this, I bet they, I bet they can, get, can they get the airborns? I don't think they can. Let me just use this just in case. I can't even use that. I just use it on him. He's not doing anything. So yeah, they can't. They cannot get the airborne people. Zombies. I guess they used to be people. So he totally missed. Okay, hold on. Does he get the shovel guy? So, okay, that's the cool thing. This plant can get both the shovel guys and the umbrella. Whatever. So get them, go get them. Look how many are there. Like, gets all of them. Like, I swear, it gets at least five. Going under, grabbing him. Going under, grabbing him right there. This is so cool. This is actually really useful knowledge. Whoa! He just got zapped. Going under, grabbing him. Now they're gonna be attacking him. So for the Gargantuars, they just have to pop up and go bam, 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 shoot him. I don't know how many it's gonna take to actually take out a Gargantuar. That's gonna be the hardest part, I think, is trying to figure out how to take care of a Gargantuar. He even threw it. In fact, I, th I think it's gonna be really tough. Look at this. Here, Blover, do something. I don't think it's gonna be very possible. Here, I'm gonna put another one in the back. Just eat a bunch of people. There you go, thank you. So they're over there, they're popping up. They're actually stopping the Gargantuar from swinging though, you see that? It's so weird. Here, eat a bunch of people. I'm not so sure that we can take care of the Gargantuars with these guys. Well, we got them halfway there. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna make a stand, but I don't think the stand is gonna matter much. They're not doing anything to him now. He's just chewing on stuff. Don't say I didn't try. Well, we got one of them. 
This guy is, I, I bet he's so close to dying. It's just such a weak plant. Here, I'm just gonna put this here. Dang it, it's okay. What, I didn't even mean to do that. Here, goodbye. We kicked him back, so. This is definitely something crazy that, that happens. Got him. I zoned out for a second. Uh, let's just do far... Oh, Dark Ages. Oh, my gosh. I can't do all of these, can I? Yeah. Let's do Far Future. See if anything sticks out. Can they eat the big mechs? What? Oh, I see. I, I keep clicking on review instead of just going in. Can can these eat the, the big old, the big old uh, mechs? <laughs> Is what you would, you would say, right? Uh, let's see. Let's go all the way over to... Does 32 make sense? Let's see if 32 makes sense. I can't wait to actually level this up and see what it can do as a level 10. Oh, I don't have much going. Oh, these are the strong guys, too. Interesting. Okay, so let's bring in what we got. We're going to start off like this. I'm going to bring in the Moonflower. If we want a ton of sun production, I'm going to bring in the Moonflower. I don't think there's any there are any stipulations here on um, what needs to happen, but I think this is going to be good. I also want to bring out the um, tile turnip. That way we can really get them going if we need to, but we may not need to. All right, let's do it. Uh, so freebies, right? All right. Oh, they can't swallow the mat, the the little imp robots. I Man, we are seriously learning something new each and every time. They can't swallow those imp robots for some reason. What the heck? Oh, we need more sun, of course. Oh boy. Here, send out two of them. Actually, that's something to note. Since you can only activate, I'm pretty sure, oh my gosh. So the, these guys are not good for the imp robots. Oh my god. I should have done... Okay. They're gonna get swarmed. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what to do. This is this is a mess. They're not gonna be able to handle this. So they get... Okay, so it's a lesson learned. They get swarmed by the imp robots because they cannot eat them. And uh, furthermore, there's uh, so many came out right there. I wasn't prepared for, for that. Uh, so let's go ahead or earn a power up. Let's go ahead and move on. So that's something we so two things we learned from doing it in the far future is that the tile turnups won't really work on them because they only activate one at a time. You can't have multiples activating their plant foods. Another thing, those imp robots roll right over them, for sure. So let's go ahead then. Let's take a look at Dark Ages, and uh, let's see if we can learn anything from playing on Dark. I think this is going to be good on Dark Ages because those Jester zombies that spin. Maybe they'll repel the head back with the head gets spit at them, but they're gonna probably get swallowed up. This is the what is this? Did I did I click the pinata party? I did. What is wrong with me? Well, let's do it. This is the third in a row. I don't know why I put two plants on the same row, but I did. We got a variety. What can I say? We got a huge variety here. Oh God. Okay, that worked somehow. Thanks to the laser beams. Goodness gracious. This is a bit of a mess. Holy cow. Like for real, can we can we get oh god.
If we could, please. Some the top row needs something, dude. There you go. There you go. Top row. No, what? I cannot believe I lost that. Okay, but we know what's gonna happen now. Let's just retry. Uh, for a thousand coins. Here we go. Going in. Well, yeah, don't tell me to level up my plants. It was just a mistake. I can't believe I went to the pinata party instead of Dark Ages. I really thought I went to Dark Ages. I don't know what. I need to focus. Focus up, Zach. You got work to do. All right. So sure, this this is an issue. Put this here. This is an issue. Come on now. More. Thanks. Right there. More. <laughs> Holy cow. Okay. There we go. We can probably fast forward through all of this. Probably. Thank goodness they appear on the very column we need the most on. The very row, I mean. Top row. Darn it. Lucky us. Goodness gracious. We're ready this time. There we go. Holy cow. This is a mess. This is actually a really tough one. Sometimes they're not very tough. No, hit the chickens. Hit the chickens. What the heck? Goodbye, that's a lot of coins we just got. Oh, great. Great. Lawnmower. Oh. What a crazy, what a crazy pinata party today. All right. All right, there we go. All right, there we go. All righty. Um, well, now let's let's continue what we were doing, which was showcasing the plant and what, what I thought we were doing. Uh, we're going to go into the Dark Ages and see how this is going to work. Because I clicked the pinata party instead of actually going into the Dark Ages. Um, you know, we have so many new plants that I, I, I could seriously consider giving one of these endless levels a, a, another go. All right. All right. Um, let me see here. What are we going to do? I guess what I'm going to do is... I mean, I don't really want to change it up too much. I want to rely, try to rely on... I'm going to bring in... So that I don't need a Blover, obviously. I'm going to try to bring in the Grave Buster. I know the Graves pop up here. And other than that, I think it's... I don't need that either. Um, so the Grave Buster, of course, is in the front because it's one of the originals. We got decent sun production. We got... Maybe we'll, Maybe I'll bring in an explosive just in case. <laughs> The Grave Buster kind of kind of focuses on this. Here we go. And I'm just gonna be I'm just gonna be patient here. All right. Nicely done. And here we go. Actually, I kind of maybe I should put them in the back row. Yeah, I don't know what I'm thinking. Why, why, why did I not put them in the back row? Anyway, here we go. Back, back. Maybe I'm planning on having two columns, huh? 
Maybe not. We're taking our time with this. Here we go. Yeah, there we go. See, I, I don't... They're not, they're not going to be able to attack just the gravestones by themselves. I don't believe... Boom! That's what we needed it for. There we go. Are we running low? We should have astounding sun production right now, though. This is good stuff. So even though these guys are getting crowned, we're still going to be able to swallow them up, basically. So there we go. We have two columns. I'm not doing anything. Well, I am using the explosives, but, you know, it's cherry bombs are something that everyone has, so... They're not attacking the king in the back, though. That's something that it's not doing. So we... Oh, that actually broke the... Okay. That actually broke the grave. The tomb. Alright. So, hey, get rid of this. Boom. Go for the graves. There you go. We got rid of most graves there. So even with the kings here, we don't really care that they're being knighted. That the zombies are being knighted. Uh, because of the fact that these guys just chew them up anyway. So that's an interesting mechanic to think about on the Dark Ages, is that you don't really have to pay them much mind. But if you want, you know, I got the cherry bombs for them. You know, I got the cherry bombs, no big deal. And we're throwing heads? Now see, that, that they actually, oh, whoa! He threw the head back at me. Did you see that? He threw the head back at me. Oh my goodness. And it just ruined one of my plants. Which I guess is fine. It's expected. But man, that was quicker than I thought it was going to be, really. Uh oh. We're going to move. Oh boy. Here. Let's use them. They're going to. They're not going to be able to grab very many people. But there they go. Go get whoever you want. There's only like one guy on the field. So we got all the king zombies out here. Hilariously enough. I might just use a cherry bomb against them to finish it up. But I think we're going to be fine. Like look, we have everything that we could want. Alright. All right. Hey, number five. Let's open that up. See what we got. Puff shroom, magnet shroom. All right. Boom, boom, boom. So that's pretty good. And then we got, uh, let's see. Well, you know, we should check out Neon Mixtape Tour as well. Just to see if we stumble upon anything that is super duper interesting. Any interesting mechanics that, you know, that we're not expecting. Uh, let's take it to 28. I tend to go to, like, the hardest one available. You know what I mean? Like, the hardest one that's not a special condition. So let's try it. Uh, again, we're going to probably just kind of stick. Yeah, this looks good. Um, I'm happy with it all, really. I'm going to bring an explosive, though, just in case. All right, let's see how this pans out. Oh, I should have brought in Time Warp, one of my favorite plants. That's okay. You know, I really should have, I really should have determined where those are going to be. Got him instantly. It's like a chomper that you can use long range. It's perfect. All right, so he's kind of stopping things right now. Oh, what about the arcades? How do they how do they deal with the arcades? Give me some more. Give me some more sun. Oh man, the arcades are already spitting out. Let's see. They're already just going for the zombies, not the actual arcades. But well, let's see how this pans out. All right, they may not. Oh man, there's so. Actually, this is another example where they. I, I see them possibly being overwhelmed, so I'm just gonna use this. 
try to clear the, clear the way first until we can get some more guys out here. I don't even have... Oh, there we go. Plant food. Here we go. We're going to... Here. Attack as many as you can. Look, it just got him like... Oh! It didn't even attack the arcade, though. So maybe the arcades are off limits. I don't know. The heads do pretty decent damage to the arcades, though. So that's something to think about. Here, everyone come out. It seriously takes out like at least five of them. Maybe not all of them, but at least five of them get taken out by this. It's incredible. Oh boy, yeah, we need something here. Boom! Oh no, the zombie's gonna wipe out. No, nope, the head got him. The, the, that's another thing to remember. The heads are actually pretty darn powerful here. Look, he's gonna eat like all of them in that top row. Did he eat the arcade? Incredible. Yeah, we're at a, sta a point now where we're just eating him up like crazy. Okay, we got it. We got it. All right. All right. All right. Well, that was awesome. Well, um, you know, I don't think there's going to be anything special in Jurassic Marsh. Right? Let me review it. Yeah, I don't think... Uh, yeah, there's no real... Uh, but, Big Wave Beach. We gotta see if they can get the, the guys underwater. We gotta see if they'll go into the water. Because if not, they might be totally useless for Big Wave Beach. And that'll be something to, to find out. That we're gonna wanna find out. Uh, so I think 28's the stage I like to do. It's hard. It's overwhelming. But we'll see what happens. Alright. All right. All righty. Here we go. Um. I guess not that because we're not going to use those. But maybe the sun shrooms could work and. Instead, I'm going to be imitating the gold bloom because I feel like we're going to need a lot more sun up front. So, let me go ahead and bring in the gold bloom and then imitate it. All right. There we go. And then, yeah, we still got an explosive. Instead of the explosive, though, I'd probably go with the tangle kelp. Because the tangle kelp will for sure be able to reach under them, but we don't know how what's going to happen with the, uh, with the snap pee yet. Lily pads, of course. And then maybe the regular chomper. Just to see. What? Losing a plant. We can't lose plants this level. Whatever. Dang it. We can't lose plants. Yeah, five left. Dang it. I can't use the gold bloom either. Ugh. Because it counts as losing plants. These are free, though. My power lilies are totally free, so that's cool. Jeez Louise, I may not be able to afford my the strategy I want to do. But let's see what happens. No, he can't even go get him. He's in the water. He can't go get him. Okay, so yeah. I think we just learned that this is pretty useless. <laughs> it's not going to work. <laughs> so, well, guys, we, <laughs> we, had, we had some fun showcasing the snap pee. Let's take a quick peek at what battles is all about. Uh, do we bring in snap pee? I don't even know. But we get to practice in the practice room. Let's do one. If you guys have any battle strategies, be sure to tweet me. Send me a photo of your lineup. That would be amazing. I hope you do. Whoa! Oh, the running guy and the balls. Okay, so... Okay, here's how they get it. The, um... Yeah... So the, the goo is actually more effective, but since I'm showcasing this brand new snap pee, maybe we'll go for that. We're gonna want some sort of sun. Is blover allowed? Maybe we'll try a blover strategy tomorrow because we're gonna we're gonna really dive into this tomorrow. I just want to practice with the new stuff that we have here. 
Um, I do, you know, I, I'm going to want the, the, uh, the spearmint, I think. And I'm going to want the gold bloom. And I'm going to want the power lily. There we go. Yeah, I know there's a lot we can do, but I'm, I'm going to try to mostly do it. I don't start with sun. <laughs> Oops. Well, there you go. I don't start with sun. There's a bunch. Holy cow. Holy god. Okay, hold on. Oh, man, I should have really brought another blower. Oh, well. I didn't realize so many people would be flying. I mean, I know it now, but it is what it is. Can he take on this guy? Here we go. Go eat a bunch of guys. Yeah, this is not this is not a winning battle strategy, I'm just gonna say. It's a good way to remove a bunch of people from the field, but this is not a winning battle strategy. The head like went nowhere. Oh, because he has the shovel. Yeah, this is bad. This is real bad. This 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 has no place in battles this week. <laughs> I'm just gonna say, this really has no place in battles. I don't see a place for it. Let me go ahead and actually surrender, and I'm gonna try an actual strategy, <laughs> uh, just to get a sneak peek into what we have. So, gonna continue onwards. And uh, again, practice mode. Practice makes perfect here. Uh, so, uh, here we go. Practice room. All right. Let's do it. So, I, mean, I know that the goo is strong, but we're really looking at a at a primal pea shooter strategy. We're looking at at perhaps not even putting down plants. Uh, we're looking at blover. What is my dog eating? What are you eating, doggy? Oh my gosh! What is, what is that? Did you give the dogs a treat? Yeah. Okay. So, um, we got a uh, strategy here. Yeah, I, I, so I think we're on a good path, but I'm gonna be bringing in the Primal Pea Shooter. I think I might imitate the Primal Pea Shooter so we can drop them down quick. And then I'm also gonna bring in the, the, uh, the Gold Bloom. Just for a tiny bit of extra sun. I can't think of what else to do. Actually, I'll bring in the Cold Snap. Actually, what will I do? I think I'm happy with it. Let's bring in this. Here we go. This is a, this is my real attempt using a real strategy. Uh, so prepare. There's no preparing. There's no preparing. There is only death. No. All right, here we go. All right. All righty. Don't forget to keep using the uh, blover, Zach. Oh, no, the shovel guys. They're not getting blown away. They're not getting blown away by the pushback. What? Did they not, does this strategy no longer work? No one's getting blown away by the blover. Did they, did they patch this? Did they fix it? Oh, you know what it is. I forgot the blo, gosh, I'm an idiot. The blover is part of the part of the family of plants that was nerfed. Okay, I thought maybe my mastery would override that, but it, it doesn't. So, uh, okay. Oh, this is the regular battles mode. Oh, hey, hey! I, I didn't mean to click the regular one. So we got a lot of thinking to do. Let me try one more time in practice mode for a real strategy. Um. 
Which is, is I mean, yeah. Basically, everything I like to do is nerfed. <laughs> uh, but let's see what happens. Um, okay. So, yes to spikes. No to those. In fact... I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and imitate the 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 goo pea shooter. I'm gonna bring in um, this and this, and I'm gonna bring in uh, that and that, and this should be what we need. Actually, I'm gonna bring in. Here we go. I'm gonna bring in that and uh, that. There we go. All right, let's give it a go. This is my real strat. Let me just collect all this stuff for a bit. I guess I should have still brought in the blower. Slow them down, please. So this seems pretty effective. Alright, this is looking good. Here we go. Alright. Did I get him? Here, let's just use this. I didn't get him yet. He's still there. Is he dead? Did he die? I think he died. I think I finally got him. There's so much going on over here. Uh, let's just see if this works, I guess. Holy cows. There, there are so many zombies, it's crazy. I feel like I, I feel like maybe an explosive strategy would work, but I'm gonna try it next. Uh, I'm gonna try it next time. I think, no, I didn't, I did get him, I did get him. So we're at 1.2 million. We have more than enough sun here. It's just that, man, I don't know about these. Here comes another. Goodness gracious, okay. Definitely trying to make this work, but We got 30 seconds to make it work. I think another grape shot will maybe do the trick. Or maybe not, but we'll see. He's still there. Oh, yikes. All right, that's not bad, I guess. He's still there. A few more seconds though. We got this, maybe. I thought I was gonna get him, but no. I'm gonna get him, 1.7. Let me know your strategies, I'll need them. Come back next episode for more. I will see you then. Uh, goodbye and thanks for watching. Awesome, we did a good job. Let's see, yeah. Nice, 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 so yeah. We'll get more into the battles next episode. I'm Zach Scott, subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and wanna help this channel grow, all you gotta do is click the like button below. Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other awesome videos. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Join my Discord, and if you want cool shirts like this, visit zackscott.shop. <laughs>